हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू लोकसत्ता यशस्वी भव इन द लास्ट वीडियो सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ऑफ द बोर्ड पेपर ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सेक्शन ए नाउ इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी शैल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन थ्री एंड क्वेश्चन फोर क्वेश्चन थ्री विच कैरीज ट्वेल्व मार्क्स इट्स अ लॉन्ग आंसर क्वेश्चन एंड क्वेश्चन फोर कैरीज फाइव मार्क्स वी शैल प्रोसीड नाउ विद द डिस्कशन क्वेश्चन थ्री ऑब्जर्व द फिगर एंड नेम द फॉलोइंग रेज स्टूडेंट्स फॉर प्रैक्टिस यू कैन कीप योर टेक्सट बुक्स ओपन एंड रेफर टू द डायग्राम दैट इज शोन इन द टेक्सट बुक हियर देर इज अ ग्लास स्लैब एंड देर आर सर्टन रेज विच आर नेम्ड स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड नेम द रे द क्वेश्चन आस्ट इज ऑब्जर्व द फिगर एंड नेम द फॉलोइंग रेज रे ए बी रे बी सी एंड रे सी डी according to the figure ray ab is the incident ray which carries one mark ray bc is the refracted ray which carries one mark and ray cd is the emergent ray which carries one mark so your answer has to be in complete statement avoid writing answer in points because this is a long answer question each answer or each line carries one mark we proceed to the next question write the rules used for drawing ray diagrams for the formation of an image by a concave mirror here again there are three set of rules each rule will carry one mark if the incident ray of light parallel to the principal axis then the reflected ray will pass through the focus in case of a concave mirror this point carries one mark if the incident ray of light passes through the focus then the reflected ray will be parallel to the principal axis this point again carries one mark and the last point that is if the incident ray of light passes through the center of curvature then the reflected ray will again move in the backward direction so each point over here carries one mark the next question why does a current carrying conductor kept in a magnetic field experience force students here there are three set of questions on what factors does the direction of magnetic force depend and the last question when is the displacement of conductor maximum so here again there are three questions each answer carries one mark the answer for the first question the magnetic field produced by a con car current carrying conductor exerts force on the magnet placed in the vicinity of the conductor the magnet also exerts an equal and opposite force on the current carrying conductor this point weighs one mark answer the direction of the magnetic force depends on the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field this point carries one mark and the last answer the displacement of the conductor is maximum when the direction of the current is perpendicular or is at 90 degree to the direction of the magnetic field we move on to the next question what are indicators name any two natural and two synthetic indicators here the answer for what are indicators carries one mark and name any two synthetic and natural indicators carries two marks that is half mark for each indicator the acidic and basic nature of the compounds can be indicated by natural or chemical substances which are called as indicators students remember if there is a definition you have to write it word to word from the textbook do not write definitions in your own words the examples of two natural indicators are litmus and turmeric whereas the examples of synthetic indicators are methyl orange and phenolphthalein half mark for each indicator the next question what are redox reactions identify the substances that are oxidized and substances that are reduced in the following reactions students remember in this question also there is a split up that is what are redox reaction the answer carries one mark and to identify the reaction the answers carry one mark each so a reaction in which oxidation and re reduction reaction take place simultaneously are called as redox reaction here the answer carries one mark the first reaction you have to identify what gets oxidized and what gets reduced so in the first reaction hydrogen sulfide is getting oxidized to form water whereas sulfur dioxide gas so2 is getting reduced to sulfur whereas in the second reaction cuo that is copper oxide is getting reduced and hydrogen is getting oxidized so for writing 
the definition of redox reaction you get one mark and one mark for the substance that is getting oxidized in the first reaction reduced in the first reaction and the other mark other one mark that is in the second reaction also you have to identify the substance that is getting oxidized and reduced now the last question which carries five marks students remember this can be a question in the form of a diagram uh, with which questions can be asked that is a diagram will be given to you and questions will be based on the diagram it can be a complete hot type of question or there can be a paragraph unseen or seen passage given to you and questions could be based on this so similarly here now there is a diagram given in the question paper and the questions are related name the parts of human eye similar to the photographic camera state one difference between human eye lens and the camera lens name the muscle which adjusts the size of the eye lens which phenomenon is responsible for working of the eye now here the first question carries two marks that is name the parts of the human eye similar to the photographic camera here there are two parts retina is similar to the photographic film and pupil is similar to the aperture that is shown in the diagram each answer carries one mark the next question in camera the focal length of the lens is fixed and the distance of the image from the lens changes whereas in case of human eye the focal length changes due to the presence of ciliary muscles and the distance of the image from the eye is fixed the ciliary muscles adjust the size of the eye that is the next answer which carries one mark and the last answer the phenomena responsible for the working of eye is refraction which carries one mark now the last question that is it was an option so here again there is a diagram shown and questions are asked on the basis of the diagram that is given to you which carries five marks name the observe the figure and answer the following questions the first question name the type of combination of bulbs in figure a type of combination of bulbs in figure b in which combination will the bulbs be brighter state the combination in which the resistance will be decreased and name the law applied for the two combinations first answer there is series combination in figure a the second answer there is parallel combination in figure b the third answer combination b that is parallel kind of combination will show a bulb glowing brighter the next answer that is resistance decreases in parallel combination that is b combination and the last answer ohm's law is applied for two combinations students remember each and every answer has to be written in complete statement do not write answer in short words do not use shortcut methods for writing down any answer underline the scientific terms and terminologies that are there in the paper so here students we have completed the discussion of section a question 1 2 in the last video session and in this video session we have discussed question 3 and question 4 students we shall discuss section b in the next video session